That letter points out that there is a risk of botched surgery. There are risks, and absolutely there are plastic surgeons that do require discipline. They are being governed by a group of physicians and surgeons that are experts at that issue. Hi, my name is Dr. Rich Hills, and you're watching my channel, Knife Skills. Today, I want to dive in and talk a little bit about a news article that I thought was concerning and really hasn't had that much attention. If you watch my channel, you may know that one of the places I like to spend time on Reddit is the R residency subreddit. It's a great way to kind of connect with those future doctors. And a lot of this channel is really about medicine and about the experience of people who are training to become doctors. Well, I came across this article and it's called Plastic Surgery Society's Call on Arizona Lawmakers to Stop Naturopaths from Performing surgeries. So that headline immediately caught my eye because as a surgeon, it really does behoove the provider to have the correct training to provide surgical care. Surgery is complex, dangerous, and really should have a highly skilled provider doing it. My residency was seven years in training to become a trauma surgeon. And it was that long because Truly, the risk that it takes to undergo those procedures needs to be well understood by the provider. You know how to solve the problems, you know how to anticipate the complications, you need to know how to make the proper diagnosis and know all the appropriate alternative treatments. Not to mention, you have to develop the time and the technical skills to get good at that. The problem here is this issue of naturopaths performing surgery. There is a debate here in this article about what truly the scope is of a naturopath, and I'm gonna read a few excerpts. So let's get started with the American Society, or at least the Arizona Society of Plastic Surgeons and their letter regarding the naturopaths. We are writing with profound concern regarding a recent distressing news outlines the actions of naturopaths in Arizona. This article revealed that naturopaths are putting patients in significant danger by performing serious, potentially life-threatening surgical procedures and that state regulatory entities are taking little action even after we made aware of these practices. This reckless activity must stop. Numerous times a year, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons must write in opposition to efforts across the states to expand the scope of practice for naturopaths, efforts to legitimize them as something they are definitely not, physicians. The current situation is that your state illustrates exactly why this is such a significant concern for our specialty. One need to look no further than the article's title to highlight this. Arizona allows people who aren't medical doctors to perform liposuction and Brazilian butt lifts. The gross disregard for patient safety is utterly appalling. It is truly distressing that naturopath would perform any surgical procedure, let alone as invasive as gluteal fat grafting. Naturopaths are not physicians. The education and training of naturopaths is no way compared to that of an advanced practical nurse, let alone a medical doctor. As such, naturopaths should not be authorized to perform and or oversee procedures that fall squarely within the practice of medicine. Okay, so that was the plastic surgeon's letter. And I'm gonna read you the response right now from the naturopaths. And I'm gonna give you my analysis on this, okay? The Arizona Naturopathic Medical Association is compelled to respond to the June 6, 2022 letter from the State and National Society of Plastic Surgeons, which sadly reflects the continued ignorance and arrogance demonstrated by some members of the medical community. Virtually all the statements in the letter regarding naturopathic medicine and physicians in Arizona is uninformed and arguably defamatory. First and foremost, naturopathic physicians are exactly that, physicians. Arizona has been a leader among states for many years in the licensure of professionalism of naturopathic doctors. In Arizona, there is no separate category of naturopaths, as the authors apparently mistakenly believe. Secondly, the scope of naturopathic doctors is well-defined and properly administered by the naturopathic physician's medical board, including the alleged acts by one individual in the news. Third, naturopathic medicine is largely devoted by definition and practice to helping patients non-surgically. The author's implication that NDs seek to expand the scope of practice is simply wrong. Many patients seek out naturopathic doctors precisely because they want medical treatment and advice that is effective 
without risk of trauma and surgery. Minor surgery that is included in the scope of naturopathic medicine refers to procedures like wound treatment, suturing, removal of foreign objects or tissues such as warts, and use of sterile techniques and local anesthesia. Finally, the authors have generalized one situation that is being investigated and handled appropriately by the board into a diatribe against the entire profession of naturopathic physicians. So the, that is uh, my rough reading here of those two letters. So here's my perspective as a vision. Number one, the letter from the naturopaths really kind of tell you the whole story. Naturopathic physicians absolutely have a purpose of providing non-surgical care. They say it right in the letter. If your purpose as a field is to provide non-surgical care, then you do not teach the fundamental principles of surgery. You don't teach the concept of surgery as part of the normal practice of care. That is not the case in medical school. In medical school, we teach medicine, both the allopathic or drug medicine that you might describe, internal medicine, cardiology, those types of procedures, as well as the training of a surgeon. That is part of medical school. Our holistic approach includes drugs, potentially herbal therapies, but also surgical. And the naturopathic letter very clearly outlines that naturopathic doctors are being sought out to essentially be a provider that does not offer surgical solutions because patients may want something else. And I think that's reasonable. And I'm not saying that there's no role for naturopathic care at all, but naturopathic by definition is not surgical. Interestingly, they talked about use of lasers. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that in nature, there aren't actually any lasers. There's light, but there's no lasers. And so if you're firing lasers and that's part of your naturopathic care, I think you're moving outside of what is thought of as natural. Now here's the bottom line, is that as far as I'm aware, and it's very clear from the plastic surgeon's letter, there is no residency training in plastic surgery for natural pass. And the bottom line is, is that there is a tremendous amount of skill, knowledge, and experience that's required to do surgical procedures. Liposuction has high risk. People die from liposuction, as was pointed out actually by the naturopathic's letter. And the reality is, is that that letter points out that there is a risk of botched surgery. There are risks and absolutely there are members of the board of plastic surgeons that do require discipline. But what makes it a difference is that they are being governed by a group of physicians and surgeons that are experts at that issue. The Naturopathic Doctors College does not have the appropriate expertise to judge the quality of the work. If I make a mistake and I do something wrong and it's brought to the attention of my medical college, I will be reviewed by other surgeons. The standard of care will be what their experience and their knowledge and skill set has taught them and I will be judged against them. Who is this naturopathic doctor being judged against? Well, if it's being judged against people who perform liposuction and Brazilian butt lifts on a regular basis, then that is the Arizona State Board of Plastic Surgery and they are coming out strongly against that practice. This is not an attack on naturopathic medicine. This is very clearly a concerned group of medical professionals that are experts in their field, concerned about the quality of training, the knowledge, and the ability of the providers providing the care. Let's also spend one second on this issue of naturopathic doctors calling themselves physicians. It doesn't really matter what you label. I've been talking about this a few times in my channel. I don't care if you call it a physician, a doctor, a wizard, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is that the top level of a provider in a particular field will be a category of person. And in North America, that is someone who's gone to medical school and completed residency training. I don't care what you call them. If you've done those two steps, you are at the top level in that area. A naturopathic doctor has neither done, gone to a medical school, nor have they gone to a residency training program in plastic surgery. So by no means are they considered the top level in that area. Now, one may argue that there's a top level of naturopathic care. That's fine. I'm more than happy to have naturopathic doctors take that on themselves. If they're gonna use herbal medicines, dirt, seances, crystals, they wanna use that, they're more than welcome to do that. But the bottom line is they can be the top area of crystal medicine and allow physicians, people who've gone to medical school, surgeons to be the top level people in surgical care, medical care. And that's essentially uh, what this is all about. It's a highly concerning issue and I understand it's deeply political. You can see the, the confidence really of the letter of the naturopathic doctors saying that the plastic surgeons have nothing to complain about. The reality is, is that their 
goal is to provide the best quality of care in what is a high risk and highly lucrative area. Truly, plastic surgery makes a lot of money. Um, and if you're getting paid well to do something, it should be at the absolute highest care. And I really do strongly feel that anyone in the naturopathic field should actually come out and I would say shame the uh, naturopathic providers that are doing surgical care because that is fundamentally not part of naturopathic medicine. I'm actually interested to hear your comments. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who disagree with me, but I really do feel that as someone who has experienced taking care of patients surgically and understanding how complex and difficult that is, the behavior of naturopathic doctors here is highly concerning. You've been watching my channel, Knife Skills. Once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate any comment, a thumbs down or thumbs up if you like this video or not, would be appreciated as well. And have a great day.